Okay, this is going to be a review and a demonstration of the brand new Accurite Atlas. This is the best home weather station that I could find. Great for backyard weather indicating and if you're a beekeeper or you have a garden and you engage in agricultural practices, you want to know what the weather's doing, what the rainfall has been, if there's lightning coming, if there's freezing weather, this is the unit that's going to do it. I've had several of these through the years and they are fantastic, but this is the biggest and best unit that they've made so far. That's the rain reservoir there with the little screen to keep leaves and stuff out. There's also the leveling bubble and the light intensity indicator. This thing actually reads out what the UV index is. Pretty amazing. Little solar panels on the end there. This is the part that's going to face south when it's on a post. The Accurite Atlas. It also has a new display that we're going to show you too. This is the bottom side of it. Also, everything on this unit does not require tools. Just little clips there. Even mounting it to the post, you have that black uh, handle there on the end. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. It'll handle a nice diameter pipe. This is the housing for the uh, weather indicator, temperature indicator, and stuff like that. Has a built-in fan that keeps it cool. That fan is powered by the solar panels on the south end there. And uh, this is the rain indicator. Rain falls into these little things each time it flips back and forth. It activates a meter which lets it know how much rain is passing through. And then you get a readout. Also, they keep telling you over and over they want to make sure you pull out this little piece of styrofoam uh, that just held that uh, rain teeter-totter thing in place during shipping so nothing happens to it. Don't forget to pull it out. So the black top just comes off very easy. Everything is super accessible. There's the clip. No screwdriver. In the past you had to have a screwdriver for everything. This one came with a lightning detector sensor. I think these are great. I have a pocket version. And it indicates the lightning strike. Tells you how many miles away it is. And keeps count of the strikes until you turn it off. So it's pretty cool. Tiny module just like this and they made it foolproof. Look at the little nub on the top there. You can only put it into the receiver one way so you can't mess it up. This thing is really people proof. So that's the bottom. Again, it's a clip, no screws. We're just going to open that up. And there it is, battery compartment, channel selection at the bottom there, and at the top, the Accurite receiver for that lightning strike detector. And also the screws and stuff come in it. Again, you can't mess this up. Look at the little raised nibs there. You can't miss it. You're going to line the pins up, and there it is installed. It's that easy. So we have the battery well here, and little switch as I said on the bottom, and then the receiver. These are the batteries. You want to use Energizer Ultimate Lithium Batteries, period. If you live in a cold area like I do, I'm in the snow belt, it's going to get really cold. You want these batteries to last a long time because I don't want to go out there and change them. These are the batteries to use. Here they are installed. It's that easy. Energizer Ultimate Lithium Batteries. Then here's the switch, ABC. I have three of these units already in operation, so this is unit C. So I ran the switch down there, and it's good to go. This is the diameter for that receiving hole for the post. You can run an inch and a half diameter post there, so a one inch post is a little over an inch in diameter if it's metal. You can also use the included plastic mount, which is what I'm gonna put this on since I already have it out there on the chicken coop. That's where I'm going to install this, lefty loosey righty tidy. it's pretty simple. And there it is mounted inside the studio, of course. But that's just so you can see what it looks like, but very easy to install. There's the bubble level on top, you want to make sure it's level because that affects the rain indicator. You also want to make sure that this end here with the solar panels on it faces due south. That's so that your wind indicator is accurate. So you want it level, and you want this part facing south, it's that simple. Since I already have the posts in place and I'm pulling off an old one and putting this one on it, it's just going to be a swap out. Very easy. And I'll show you that at the end. This thing is good looking and it's big. So if you're trying to make your neighbor jealous, this is the unit to put out there. And then there's the wind velocity indicator and the wind direction indicator. That wind direction indicator used to hang on the bottom, but now it sticks out the top. This thing is big. It's about 15 inches long. And then when it comes to the height here, it looks like we're about 18 inches in height from the top of that uh, weather direction gauge to the bottom of your sensor housing. Now we're going to look at the display unit. Again, there's no screws necessary. Unless you're going to mount it to the wall. Then you're going to have to 
put some screws there, but this is just going to sit on a shelf. So we're going to use the included bracket for standing it on the shelf. This is the wall mount bracket. Two screws, put it up there. The other thing is, the old units used to, if you were standing off to the side, you couldn't see that readout very well. This new one, you can see clearly no matter what angle you're at. It takes an SD card, maximum of 32 gigabytes, so we're going to pop in Alexar Professional Class 10. 32 gigs, 400 times speed. I don't know what that 400 times speed means. Speed of what? Who knows? Plenty fast for this unit. And that's so that you can take the card, put it on your computer, and log your data. So that's it. There's also no batteries on this thing. There's the antenna flipped up there. All it does is run off that AC adapter. I don't know if there's some kind of built-in battery, but it walks you through the install process very easily. Install the AA batteries into the Accurate Atlas. Then uh, tells you to place that uh, dark side south, which we've already gone over, and that's the included little post that comes with it. Then uh, tighten the mounting knob. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. Mount knob must be securely tightened to prevent rotation and movement during storms. Lastly, carefully open the rain gauge bucket and remove the rain gauge stabilizer material. That's that little styrofoam piece. And then, of course, we popped in our lightning indicator, which is really cool. You want to see it. Plus, you can set it so that it alerts you when there's lightning in the area. These, these are the quick setup steps. Eastern zone. Here, daylight savings time. Yes, I want that. And we want everything in U.S. here. And uh, select your temperature units, Fahrenheit, of course, next. And then select your wind direction display, north, south, east, and west, instead of 360 degrees. And miles per hour instead of kilometers or knots. And rainfall units in inches, I want that. And then uh, lightning distance units preference, I like miles. And then you can count them if you want to. Auto dim, yeah, I want it to go dim when the room light is low. Auto cycle for the available screens. You want those screens to reset themselves every 15, 30 seconds or so on. I don't. I just let it continually read out. This is the display. The display is outstanding. You can control the brightness and contrast on your own. You also, as I already did, was set the auto sensor so that when the room is darker, this thing automatically goes a little darker. It's in the windowsill. And uh, windowsill is probably bad because it's going to get heat from the outside, so the interior readings won't be accurate. And we set it up today, November 30th. 66 degrees Fahrenheit. By the way, the sensor is inside and the display unit is inside. And it is off by a couple degrees. So I don't know if it's balancing out or what it's doing. Keep in mind, we just took this out of the box. Here's the whole thing. And we're going to take that uh, outside unit. And we're going to install it, and then we're going to see what the readings do then. Wind velocity and direction indicator. By the way, that wind velocity uh, indicator is the thing that quits first on these units. Here's my old one. The wind velocity indicator on this thing uh, barely moves unless the wind's really driving like crazy. So I'm pulling it off and I'm swapping it with this Accurite Atlas Edition. There's the post. It's all nice and level. I'm just going to put the new one on it. And there it is. And now we're going to get wind speed indicators and uh, direction and UV and lightning strikes. And we're going to know the temperature and the dew point. And we're going to know the history of everything. So it's pretty cool. And it's on top of my chicken coop. We need to know if those eggs are freezing. We also need to know if we need to feed the bees or if they're going to be flying. So if you know somebody that keeps bees or keeps chickens or engages in outdoor gardening activities, this is a fantastic gift for a beekeeper. So there it is, close up. We're going to go back inside and see the display and see if it updated. And there we are. Yep, 34 degrees outside. The low is 34 and the high 67, which was inside when we were setting this thing up. Indoor temperatures, 64 degrees and 56% humidity. It's pretty good. It's going to record the history of everything. Even has the light intensity, the UV index. This is the first unit I've ever seen that has that readout on it. So this thing's impressive. I like it a lot. I'm definitely going to recommend this, and that's why I'm making this YouTube about it. It is brand new from Accurite. I believe it's made in China. And uh, what isn't these days, it seems. But the display is fantastic. Better than all the others. The outside unit is much larger than the others. And we'll see how accurate it is, but they've definitely added a lot of features to it. 
Don't forget to use the correct batteries in these. It will affect the readout accuracy as well. And we're just showing some of the details, but uh, I think that pretty well covers it. I hope you enjoyed this review. This unit is excellent. I'm going to put a link down in the video description. And you can go check them out for yourself, but I expect the reviews on these to probably be very high. I, of course, paid full price for it. I was not given the unit. I was not given, to, given it as a discount either. So, thanks for watching.